Welcome to Crazy Nurse Our Own Hub, where learning becomes a tradition. Come, join me as we explore the multifaceted worlds of nursing. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Chris, your Crazy Nurse RN. So for today's video, we will just be talking about or I'll just be talking about an update with regards to my life in the past few months. I know that I haven't uploaded a lot of videos from my YouTube channel, but um, I would like to apologize to my subscribers and to my viewers because I was really busy with work and I just came from the Philippines. I just had a two week vacation there just to attend for my brother's wedding and also to check my family's condition back home and i was really happy and felt relieved uh, after that because i was able to witness what's going on in our house that i really need to do something about it and also i visited my my father's grave my grandparents, my family's grave back home, and it was a fulfilling experience. So again, I would just like to apologize to all my subscribers and viewers for not uploading videos in the past months because I was really busy. For today's video, I will just be talking about to you more of my trip back home, uh, back in the Philippines. So, I actually planned this trip six months before because I know that the plane ticket is really so expensive when it's closer to the date of your departure from the country that you're from. So, I decided to just book it as earlier as I could. By the way, guys, I'm a permanent resident here in the United States of America, so there is no really restrictions for me to go in and out of the country but I think there is a certain months that I should be coming back here in the US for me not to violate or somehow be eligible for the application of US citizenship after five years that I've been here in the US so I just I just decided to be there in the Philippines for two weeks so it doesn't really matter this is actually my first time to go out from the US so I'm a bit skeptical about it so what I did first is I actually consulted a travel agency and that is the ASAP ticket so that they will be able to book me uh, with that ticket and of course they would ask you where your location is so that they could look for the closest airport that they will book your ticket and i think that it really went smooth to be honest with you um it was a great experience for me it was very easy they are really accommodating and they provided me with a lot of information and i was able to choose the cheapest flight but i highly suggest that if you wanted to travel back home i suggest that you will be the one to book your ticket it is much more cheaper if you do that and also because i have booked through travel agency so they charge more about some like a travel care or something like that of course they will you will be paying their staff to do the services so you really have to pay extra for that but if you do that on your own you go to your to the website of the airlines and book it by yourself i think it's more cheaper um yeah it was really a great experience for me i don't really have a problems in terms of booking my flight and after that i just waited after six months um back in the philippines they are requiring an e-travel it's like you have to log into a government website and you have to fill some of the informations there and I think you have to fill that up 48 hours before your flight. So I have to do that um, like two days before my flight. So it's just, 
you just have to put some of your passport information, your name, some COVID um, vaccinations you have in the past things like that and after that they will give you a barcode so all you have to do is to get a screenshot of that anyway they will just email you also the QR code in your email address so you need to have that before you depart from the US because they say that it will be needed in the immigration in the Philippines but per my experience they didn't check that all they just checked my passport and stamped it so yeah uh, but it's required so you just have to do it and also uh, as a permanent resident we have this green card thing and you and we can just present that when we um, go back here in the Philippines so there's no other documentation you can just go in and out of the US or in the Philippines using that green card so it doesn't really matter about that um, so during the day um, I have actually two connecting flights from here in Indiana going to Detroit then Detroit to Japan then Japan to the Philippines and it was tiring it's more than 25 25 hours all in all including the layover from each airport and I suggest also for those who are trying to go to the Philippines I suggest to take a direct flight I know it's expensive but you know what it's hassle-free so that's what I suggest you know traveling through plane is really a stressful thing especially when I did that I just did that in July and we know that there's a lot of typhoon in the Philippines coming on that month and actually when I was there for two for my two-week period stay there's two typhoon that arrived in the Philippines so um for the two week period that i was there it's mostly raining and there's thunderstorm uh going on so i was not able to really go to places a lot because of that so yeah one that is one thing that you need also to consider when traveling back home and i suggest you go back home by summer in the philippines and that's probably from march april may something like that um yeah but anyway, um, I suggest and I highly recommend if you have extra money to go for a direct flight. I think there's one from uh, LA, from Los Angeles going to Manila. Just one flight that's uh, the Philippine Airlines. And I'm not sure with the other airports in the West Coast, but I think there is and I highly recommend to do that if you are traveling with your family because it's really hard to really catch the flight and one of the dangers of doing connecting flight is what if the plane arrived late and the next connecting flight that you have will be compromised and that would be a problem so anyway I have an experience to that when I came back to the Philippines I just have to uh, tell you that later so yeah so finally i went back in the philippines and i stayed in manila for overnight there and after that i flew from manila to iloilo city because i'm from the from iloilo city that's my hometown it's located at the central region of the philippines so it's just like less than an hour plane ride so i went there so i stayed in my mom's house and after that, we went to my aunt's house the following day. The first thing that I did was to, I think, yeah, I think I went to my dad's grave, my family's grave back in Sara, Iloilo. And it was refreshing to be there. Actually, uh, I was just here in the U.S. for a year and four months, so it's not that really long so but anyway it's still refreshing to go to places back there um the vibe the feel is different as compared here so because me i really love nature and i would be more comfortable with nature as well 
so i went there together with my aunt and my brother we went to my father's to my father's grave to my grandparents farm where and also their grave as well so we went there to uh, pay a visit to them and yeah it was a great trip because it was like three hours uh, going there and three hours back so it's more or less six hours drive all in all and after that um, what I did was also to do a transactions with my um, with a car because uh, I have a car that needs to be paid back in the Philippines and it's already four months that we're paying it and I decided to just pay it in full to get some rebates from it so I fully paid my car and I'm so glad and happy that I don't have any more you know the monthly payment of that car so I'll show you my car it's a Toyota 2019 Avanza so I'm happy and proud that I already paid that car and, and it will also lessen my you know monthly expenses because every month I send money back home just to pay for that uh, for the monthly payment for that car so now I'm fully paid thank you primary intention to go back home is to actually attend to my brother's wedding so I'll just post our pictures here in this screen Uh, we started our journey over nine years ago wow. and if you told me that with uh, standing here today celebrating our wedding Oceanside in front of, in front of these uh, people here today <laughs> I, I honestly never would have believed it's truly a dream come true over the past nine years we have built the foundation of loving relationship that I know will stand to the best of time. Together, we have to embark on amazing adventures and over overcome seemingly our surmountable challenges. Ultimately, we have gained the love and acceptance of all who matter the most to us. And the evidence surrounds us here today. First and foremost, we both share the belief that the family is the most important thing in the world. Wow. Praise God. I promise to always put your needs and the needs of our family before our before my own uh, anyone or anyone else's needs. You have always said to me that the worth of a person is determined by the kindness and the quality of their spirit. You have also shown me the unconditional love feels like. And so I promise to treat you with kindness throughout the rest of our lives together and to always love you unconditionally. Lastly, I am so proud of how much you and both of, uh, both of us accomplish in our professional lives and careers over the past few years. And I am certain that none of it is possible without the inv invaluable support and encouragement that we provide each other. As your life partner, I, I promise to support you in all the personal and professional pursuits. I will always be your biggest fan cheering you on from the sidelines. I love you very much. And I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Well, and before you will read your covenant also, remember these tears. No, remember these tears. These are the tears of your promise. Thanks again. I'm proud of you, Nick. It's again.
My life changed since the day that I met this guy, whom I've been with for almost 10 years now. Everything was a roller coaster since then, but God has planned everything until this day came. You and Clarine are the best things that happened to me. Even if I can take back time, still, I will choose you over and over again. <laughs> you are the best husband and father, honestly, <laughs> after my dad, of course. Even if I'm not expressive to you with my feelings, but deep inside, God knows how thankful I am for the family that He has given me. I can promise anything but only God, uh, only God, only God can. So I pray that God will be the center of our marriage and family and I believe that everything will fall into place. I love you today and forever, my love. Wow. Wear this ring as a sign of my love and commitment in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Chris, wear this ring as a sign of my love and commitment in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And it was really a unusual thing for me because usually um, weddings are held in the church but this one it was held in a beach side and it was really nice and refreshing although it rains initially at the beginning of the ceremony but it stopped um, eventually like after 10 minutes and the wedding went on and it was really good because the place was really nice it was uh, refreshing it was it was nature yo you know it's a new resort in Carles Iloilo and it's called Solina a beach resort and it was really a good place for recreation for events i am not um i'm not actually promoting that place but it was really nice it's new uh the people there are really nice i cannot say bad about that place because it was a paradise for me yeah the the wedding went really good and fine so yeah, congratulations to MM and to my brother Chris for uh, for that very successful wedding. And I hope and pray that uh, you will be guided along the way and be you know and to grow uh, to each other professionally and personally and be able to uh, to have a good family, to have a good bond to your family. And that's the only thing that you know married couple the family should be should should have in the long run you know so most of those times that i've been there is i just ate a lot of food you know we went to restaurants we went to other places to eat and that's the thing that i missed back home you know the food because here in the u.s especially in my area we don't really have a lot of filipino filipino food here so i really indulge myself to eat a lot of filipino food back home and it was really satisfying um yeah there's nothing much i did there because of that typhoon i can't go to places because they're like a closing borders if you want to go to an island they won't allow you to sail because of the of the typhoon um so i i don't have anything 
to do with it so now when the day come that I have to depart the Philippines there's one thing that really happened in my flight because the aircraft that uh, that is scheduled to be in the Philippines was delayed so of course if it's delayed my connecting flights in Japan will also be delayed so the airline decided us to deplane and wait for the available aircraft for that day but I told them um, well I have I am not in a rush so I can take uh, another flight tomorrow if you have an available one because they told us that if we do that they will uh, cover for the expenses for the hotel for the accommodation and for the transport transport so I told them well if you will do that I would rather be scheduled tomorrow for the next flight because I don't want to stay in the airport because there's a lot of people and I'm afraid to catch COVID or other you know respiratory illnesses um, so I just told them to I will just take the next flight tomorrow so they uh, transported me back to my hotel and the following day I have my flight and it went smooth okay so they really they entirely rebooked my flight from the Philippines to Japan, Japan to Detroit. I oh, know they change it from Japan to Chicago and Chicago to in Indiana. So that's really a tiring uh, flight for me. But you know what? The experience back home was really great. It was fine. I really love seeing uh, my friends, my family back home, and it feels good. To be honest with you to be back home and I felt that you know I don't know I'm just like a year and four months here uh, in the US but when I went there it seems to me that I don't want to go back in here but I have to you know I think that's the biggest problem of uh, Filipinos or even other uh, or other people who are who are working abroad you know they are homesick they wanted to stay in their home country it feels different although my life here in the US is okay um, I can enjoy whatever I want you know but you know it's different if you are in your home country where you were ra born and raised you know you know the feeling but yeah but I have to go here I have to work yeah and for my dreams for for my life and for my future so yeah we just have to do sacrifices and i am i do not regret to be honest with you to be here in the u.s i'm really thankful blessed that i was given this opportunity to work here and i loved it and i feel appreciated i feel that my job here as a nurse in the u.s was really fulfilling to be honest with you the pay is really good here in the u.s of course with that you would also feel appreciated of what you do in your profession of what you have sacrificed in getting that uh profession in getting that uh career that you have and that makes me do more and perform well in my work because I was given this opportunity and I have to grab this and do it the best that I could so I guess guys that would be all for my experience and hopefully I would have more time to upload more videos for you to you know just to update what's happening with me and also to make some creative content that you can all benefit from but that's all um thank you so much everyone and if you like this video you can just like and subscribe and you can also share this video to your friends to let them know about this that i have experienced back home or if they're planning to go home in the philippines so this might be a a little guide for them on what to do so thank you so much guys and have a good day